Welcome to Let's Play Golden Ear for the N64. This is Ron Moore along with Mexico and Lady Zelda, or is it Lady Goldeneye this time, or uh, depending? Uh -huh. <laughs> or maybe it's Lady Natalia? Well, last time I checked, I had light arrows and a royal blade, <laughs> not a gun. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> All right. So GoldenEye for the N64, and yes, this is ECW mode here. So I'm gonna go all out in this one. Yeah. Anybody else just love the freaking intro to this? All right. Yeah, me too. That music. Starring Ron Mower. <laughs> May Day, I think it's Grace Jones, that's right. Grace Jones. Archangel yeah, Zero. Oh. Uh oh. Compared to some Eddie who looks like one of the bosses in uh, Wrath of the Black Manta. Alright, so time to select a mission here and what what cheats do I want to enable for this particular level? For the first level here, the dam. Oh man, this brings me back. Uh, yeah, I remember I had to use Game Sharp to unlock all these, but I actually, uh -huh. I actually did unlock the invincibility cheat on my own, legit, which was one of the my greatest accomplishments in gaming. Sweet, awesome. Can't say I've done the same. So it's very hard. You had to beat the facility in a minute and thirty seconds, I think, on Double O Agent. That's yeah, very I hard. Yeah, reading that in a magazine. Like, it, it told you exactly what you needed to do, and I was reading the magazine, and it kind of gave you, like, little hints, and, like, but at the same time, too, it's, like, it's, you know, it's skill, so it's not an easy thing to do. Yeah, and it's going to look different here because the emulation, so obviously the sky is not black, but that's the emulation for you here, but oh well. And the audio is not going to sound exactly the same either because this... ROM or this simulator in particular really uh, does not emulate this game perfectly or maybe depends on the settings and I'm not too familiar with N64 emulation. No, I thought you were going to say it wasn't going to sound the same because I was on this commentary. Well, that too. That too. Not me. Not me! Imagine walking dead with N64 go not style right here. Oh god, oh. yes. Okay, I just killed a guy that looks like uh, a character from the Big Bang Theory. I don't know his name. Uh, not Sheldon. Sheldon. Not Sheldon. Not uh, Penny's. Howard? Not Penny's husband. Uh, I guess it might be Howard, the one with the chili bowl haircut, kind of, I think. Next thing there, you know, there he is. There he is. I'll just kill him again. <laughs> yeah. Just for Next that, thing you give know, this you'll video be. A thumbs up. You'll be seeing people like fight over comics and stuff. Yeah. How that? It was so easy to sneak up on them. Of course, because I'm invincible. I'm I'm yeah, Boris. Uh, Boris is jealous because I am invincible. Yeah, but the question is, whose side are you on? Right. I'm a double agent, so. <laughs> yeah, what that's why I asked. <laughs> Like, what would y'all do if Nintendo created a version of this where it's like Hyrule style and you're just like going around shooting your enemies? How oh, cool. Oh. So you play as Wesker here if, if you're a double agent. Oh, dang. That's right. I forgot about that. <laughs> could you all imagine Ingo on a mission? Oh, God, I couldn't. Well, there's Bison. Oh, wait. No. There was. There was. Wait, who? Uh, who? Men on a mission? Yeah, Ingo. Oh, Ingo. Wait, Ingo from Ocarina of Time? Yep. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, here's one of the mission objectives. Uh, use Covert Modem. I forgot what it was called. Install Covert Modem, I think. What I'm supposed to do here. Uh-huh. I remember watching my friend play through this or whatever, and... Of course, we play multiplayer, and I'd get killed all the time. But of course, it's pretty interesting. Yeah, I would get killed a lot too. Uh, and multiplayer wasn't good. The facility level was fun, though, uh, and multiplayer. 
like, do you guys have any favorite um, areas here in game? Because as a kid, I, I loved the freaking silos for some weird reason. Um, uh, like I said, the facility. I also love the caverns, which is not in the movie. I think there's two levels in this game that's not in the movie. That's the silos uh, and um, the caverns. I think the rest of the game um, is in the movie. Whoa. Or some areas. Like, right here, this part of, of the, you know, the first level here, the dam, it was in the movie, but that was like the very, very beginning where you just see Bond running and he does the bungee jump. But you don't see this part right here, but I mean, yeah, but like, as far as like levels that were not in the movie at all, was the silos and the caverns. And, well, no, I, and that's right, and the two bonus levels in the, uh, after you beat the game. Sweet. Awesome. There he is again, Howard, the duck, or whatever his name. Oh, again, man, Howard's all around everywhere. He's not gonna like this video. Yeah. He's not gonna like this again, video. there he is, man. He's they love. Boy, the creators of Golden. Well, uh, that show wasn't out yet when this game came out. <laughs> uh oh. That's gonna oh, blow. Oh no, wait, that was one of the mission objectives. Offsite data backup completed. Oh, I love this gun right here. I think my favorite gun might be the. Dang, it's hard to say. The automatic shotgun. Oh, automatic shotgun. There you go. Just the satisfaction of going to someone's face and. Uh, just boom! Just like in uh, the Punisher series on Netflix, where he shoots that one Irish gang leader right in the face with a shotgun. <laughs> Point blank. Oh, hey, this right here. Yeah. I really like the sniper rifles. Ooh, I like the uh, Dirty Harry gun right here. Those are good yeah. too. Imagine Dirty Harry. Now, Dirty Harry, this style in a video game, that'd be awesome. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, the golden gun. I remember that. Yeah, yeah I remember that too. I got killed by it so many times. I was like so mad because like one of my brothers, we would um, do the two player thing and I'd be tr like, trying to hide from him. He would always find me and I'm like, oh no, that freaking golden gun. Right. Now, there's... I will say this though, nothing more satisfying than taking somebody out that has the golden gun. Like, yeah. Take that. Now... There's a part of this game that was a part of this level that was not used. And it's like in the far uh, end of the level right here. Uh, I could go down there and I guess show you, but it's uh, nothing really to look at. You can't hardly see it. It's like another mission objective that was scrapped from the game. You got to take a boat and go to, the, to an island somewhere in this level and do s something else. But for some reason, they scrapped that from the game. They're just like, yeah, no, we're not gonna do it. Yeah. Now, where's the cord? That's a thin cord. I don't <laughs> know. It looks like he's di doing the diving headbutt. Chris Benoit headbutt. Jeez. Oh, oh, I should have said that. I believe I can fly. Yeah. <laughs> and so I've played this game first before I ever saw the movie. Sweet. And all right, so. And part two will be the facility, one of my favorite levels. And we will see you guys then. Until then, God bless and take care. Stay ECW. Shaken, not stud. <laughs>